Today I will be taking LEGO Minecraft's 21137 Mountain Cave and I will be making it block accurate. This is gonna take a long time, so please consider subscribing. It'll really make my day. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So for the first set of the video, we have the Creeper Ambush. So right off the bat, we gotta get rid of this horrible yeah. Creeper. Replace it with a normal Creeper. So I'll do that and I'll see you guys when I'm done accurizing this set. So after about an hour of tweaking around with this set, I managed to make it 100% accurate. I used jumpers because I kind of ran out of normal tiles. Because of the mountain cave I'm going to show later in this video. I also added two additional lime green one by one circular bricks for the sugar cane and also turned the iron ore into a perfect cube. I removed the play feature because if I left it there, there would be a huge gap. So that was a huge no no for me. Just like the iron ore, I also turned the crafting table into a perfect cube and that wraps up the creeper ambush. For our next set, we gotta go underwater and look at one of those underwater Minecraft sets, which is the Coral Reef. So here is the block accurate coral reef. It looks so much better than the original. It looks more complete. And for the first thing I did, I replaced the chest and I gave this new chest to the build. Looks a hundred times better. I also removed the play feature here because there is no such thing as Technic axles in Minecraft. For the next thing, I replaced the kelp design and I put my own because this one looks a little better. And I also removed this round Technic brick because it did not look normal to a Minecrafter's perspective. The next set is the last set I'm showing before the block accurate mountain cave. So to get there, we gotta go to the nether. And this is where we are gonna find our next set which is the Nether Fight. This is a Lego set that sold for about $15 back in 2018. This is a very fun set. It has a little bit of everything and it would be a blast accurizing this. So I'll see you guys in about one second when I'm done fixing this set. So here we have the block accurate Nether Fight. So you probably know what I'm going to say at this point. I removed the play feature. It just looks ugly, alright? It has gaps, it looks weird. Instead, I put this cool lava pool. It looks so much better. I detailed the magma blocks a little bit more because LEGO's version was just a 2x2 dark red brick with two 1x1 orange tiles on them. And that was a little under detailed. So I did this. I also fix the soul sand but not quite i didn't have any 2x2 dark brown tiles so i had to improvise and use a 2x2 reddish brown tile but i don't think it makes that much of a difference but i'll make sure to order some 2x2 dark brown tiles for next time i also replaced the fire element before it was a brick built one i'm just using the exclusive minecraft piece now and that pretty much sums it up for the nether fight now for the part of the video you guys have all been waiting for the block accurate mountain cave
here is the cave section. The only thing that makes this 99% accurate are the rails. I just couldn't do the rails accurate. The accurate version of rails is just too piece consuming. And a set like this with a large amount of rails like this, it's just impossible, guys. So, the only inaccurate thing in this set are the rails. So the second thing here, I had to remove the rod in the middle of the elevator because there's no such thing as a spiral rod in Minecraft. And I also replaced the round Technic brick for a normal brick. And it still goes up and down. You just have to do it with your hand instead of the rod. I kept this play feature because I really liked it, but as you can see, it cannot work because when I accurized the chunks that fall down the cave, they became thicker and thicker. So it's harder for them to go down the hole. Here's an example. You see? Before, with these thinner pieces, everything went down perfectly, even the mini figs. But now, I had to make a sacrifice to make it accurate. So I don't own the black sheep mob at the moment, so I had to improvise and use a sheared sheep. If you guys are interested in this design, I made a tutorial on it a couple months ago. It's going to be at the top of this video. If you guys are interested, you could watch it at the end of this video. I also kept the light feature because why not? It's a pretty fun feature. My light brick is literally on its last breath. It actually died by the end of this video. So I can't really show every light feature, but I kept every single one of them. Now let's talk about this creeper face here. Now, it kind of looks odd. Like if someone stretched a creeper face out a little, that's how I'm feeling about this. It looks a little odd. I kind of prefer the old design. I also fixed the door here and the bedroom. I fixed the bed. I scaled it down and Besides that, it kind of looks the same. The room is a lot taller, and you could still remove this roof to see the inside a little better. I kept the TNT play feature here, which wraps up the center of the mountain. Now, let's move to... This is the small island piece that connects these two sections together. This is my minecart design. I made a short video about that too. It's gonna to be in the top of the video or at the end of the video, if you guys are interested as well. So yeah, this is pretty much the only thing the outside holds except for the rails. So let's move on to the inside. Here you have a scaled down spawner, some cobwebs around just like Lego did. This is the spider room. And next to the spider room is just some rails and a lava pool. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This is the smallest section of the mountain cave, so there's not too much to offer. There's also this light feature, but I can't show it because my light brick died mid-video, which is pretty annoying. There's also this light feature, which I can't show because my light brick died, like I said, like two seconds ago. Pretty unfortunate. I tried changing the battery, but after I changed the batteries, the thing just stopped working entirely. If you guys know what that means, write it down in the comments below. I'd love to know what that means. Now, let's move on to the third and last part of the mountain cave, which is... So I kept this play feature because I really like it for some reason, but I just have to remove the diamond ore to make it accurate. So here you go, it's accurate now. Here's the working redstone play feature. And here's a quick tour of the mountain's cave. I 
I almost forgot to show you guys that the whole roof is studded for the bat to literally hang from anywhere except for these two holes that are the elevator and the creeper hole. But unfortunately, I didn't do the same for this roof. I kept this TNT play feature as well. I tried to keep every single play feature in this set because that's what makes this set fun. And I didn't just want a boring and bland mountain cave that doesn't do anything. So I tried my best to keep everything in there. Here's this play feature. I surprisingly have footage of the feature kind of working. You can see the torch kind of lights up. So that's pretty cool, I guess. Here's the taiga forest. I mean, it's not really a taiga forest now because look at the grass color. I in fact did not have enough sand green pieces to make an entire taiga biome. So I had to improvise and use normal green base plates for the taiga grass. But I don't know, I used it for like the lower parts of the mountain but for the parts with the snow I tried my best to put some sand green in there here are the trees these are just accurate versions of the mountain cave trees this one has snow the other one's exactly the same thing it just doesn't have snow and I think it looks pretty cool I don't know why but I added two berry bushes I still don't know why. I fixed the chest design here. This one looks a little better. I also fixed the armor stand. Again, like literally any video I do, I always have to change the armor stand design, like every video. But I think this one looks a little better than most others I made. I also used some snot techniques to make the stairs block accurate. I also heightened the ferns here and added some grass all around. So before I wrap up the mountain cave, I just want to do this quick thing, which is show the entire rail system. It's a little embarrassing that a 16 year old male is playing with a Lego set like this but you know I got I got a little distracted and filmed this entire footage of me playing with the rails but you know you just gotta let me live man this is really fun this was a, a really fun experience so just leave me alone all right don't bully me Terrence from school if you see this video jerk So this was the block accurate mountain cave. Wow, was this an adventure. This video took me about two weeks. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.